I recently bought two new sketchbooks and I want to take you with me to see how I get started. Hello everyone, I'm Elisa and if you're new here, welcome and if you're not, I'm so happy to have you back and I want to take you along with me on starting a new sketchbook. Starting a new sketchbook is always intimidating. You have so many blank pages to fill and you're not always sure what to draw and this leads to being overwhelmed and art block. In the past, I would always just start drawing and this would lead to much frustration. I wasn't always sure what to draw, that my sketchbook often would sit and it would take me years to fill without any progress or goals. Then I started watching YouTubers creating projects and making goals for their sketchbooks and this would give you direction on what to draw and what you want to accomplish with your sketchbook. I use mine to practice my form and techniques to the start of creating larger paintings. Through this process I found my sketching and my artwork improving. I have two sketchbooks and I have different goals for each. I thought it would be good to show you my process. Sketchbook one, we'll start with this black one here. Set that one aside. So this one is just a regular sketchbook that I got from Hobby Lobby. I want to be sketching in pen and ink just like I did in my sketchbook tour I showed in my last video and if you didn't see that I will link it below and in the card. I like to write down my goals in the front of my book that way I can look back on them. This helps me to focus and keep moving forward. Since I will be using only pens in this book I grabbed a couple of supplies for myself to last me throughout the whole of my sketchbook. It has 128 pages. So I have some blue ballpoint pens, just the big, they're just the same as this. And then I bought some black ones. These are great for sketching, they're very smooth. I don't have as many problems with them. And for some darker colors, I do love the Pilot G2. So usually I write on just this opening either here or here. You write your name, you can write your phone number, your contact information, and then you write your goals. So I have my name. I'll write my other contact information later. So this book belongs to Elisa Laporte. And then I'm going to start with my goals. So our first one is to sketch only in pen and inks. My second goal, similar to my last sketchbook because I feel like I still have a lot to learn in this area is to sketch from life. So those are the things from life I kind of want to focus on is you know urban sketching in the city whether that's people or buildings things in the city landscapes and specifically people. My third goal is to work on values. This is something I feel like we are in constant need of going over. And my final goal for this book will be to work on my line work. I don't hate my line work, but I see some other artists and I love the way their lines look and that is something I want to really focus on, really pay attention to my line work instead of just mindlessly sketching to really focus on how I'm doing it and try to improve that. So since one of my goals is to sketch from life, I'm going to be doing a sketch of a live setup I have right over here of some pumpkins since it is Halloween. 
I thought I would draw some pumpkins that I have. And maybe I'll do it on the full layout. Very light, very pale. I don't know if you can see that. I want to get a general idea of what I'm working with here. I really felt myself grow by limiting myself only to pen. I grew less dependent on erasing and really focusing on the shapes of my subject. I love Picasso's quote, inspiration exists but you have to find it working. The more I was working in my sketchbook and working towards a goal, the more inspiration I have found, as well as the ability to get through subjects I found hard or impossible for me to do. is a mixed media sketchbook and I want to focus on different mediums, some I've never tried before. Um, so here we go. Let's open it up. This one actually has a little place here where I can write down my name and I will write the rest of my information here later. I'll write my goals over here. My first goal for this book is to use pencils, alcohol markers, pens, and watercolors. Since this one is a mixed media and it looks like the paper is sturdy enough to hold watercolors, even on the cover here, they'd showed like a pen sketch with some quick watercolors. So it's more like a color referencing, you know, I can add a bit of color to really make it pop, do something a little different with it. I really want this sketchbook to have different goals than my other one. I don't want to focus on the same things. So that's also why that one's gonna be purely pen. This one will be completely mixed media. I guess I could add acrylics on there, but I really wanna focus on the ones that I like and use on a daily basis. Except for the alcohol markers, these are new to me and I've seen a lot of people use them and I was very curious to be able to have something maybe in my purse on hand that I can quickly swatch colors without always having to have water and pen and stuff if I'm just like running errands quickly. I wanted something a little bit more quick so I can grab a couple markers and put them in and be able to add some color. My second goal for this book is to Right here, I want to focus on people and their form and structure, drawing people from life or drawing them in paintings. It comes a lot easier and I don't want to be so focused on figuring out the structure when practicing every day will make it much easier and run smoother. For my last goal, I want to focus on values both in black and white and color. And that's also why I got these markers, which these ones are 
skin tones. And then I decided to pick different colors. Now these ones were, I figured since I've never tried them before, I know most people use Copic markers. Um, I'm trying these ones, they're Master's Touch. I don't know how good they are in comparison considering I've never actually used alcohol markers before. But um, they were 50% off at my local art store so I thought I would give them a try. I will make sure I link all of these products below. This one I'm allowing myself to use pencil sometimes if I need to. Where I want to focus on people and their form and structure, this one's gonna be more about making sure I'm learning and growing. Sorry, we have jets that fly overhead. But I want to learn and grow and build on my form so I'm able to get things more accurate. We'll start our sketch. Okay, I have a picture here of my daughter. I think I'll just do it here. Um, in this one, I will be using pencil to start off with because I think I want to use those new markers and, and or some watercolors in this one. So here to start out, I always start out with like a circle because if you think about the, a skeleton, you know, we have the back of our head, it's rounded, and then we put basically a mask, as my professors would say. We put a mask on that ball. Okay, so if you were to draw it sideways, like profile, you have your ball, and then you draw your mask right here. And then your neck. I think we sometimes take our sketchbooks for granted. It's a place to get out our feelings, sometimes by just mindlessly sketching. But we also need to remember to consciously be improving and working things out. This helps us to not keep making the same mistakes. This is a place for us to try new mediums and not worry about whether or not we mess up. We get to sketch out new ideas and practice working out the details for larger paintings. Sometimes we might have to do five or six sketches and thumbnails before we even start on a larger painting. This saves us time, money, supplies, and frustration before we get to the final. This way we can set ourselves up for success. You can even make your sketchbook a journal of sorts, sketching and writing about the things that happen in your daily life. I find this way of journaling easier and more appealing. You give yourself and your viewers little snippets of what you observe day to day. So we are done. Uh, I will probably try doing watercolors next. If you guys would like to see some more sketchbook drawings, let me know in the comments below and I can do some more sketchbook paintings. 
um, and do some in watercolors and see how watercolors takes to this. I would have to be very delicate, but it would be fun. I hope you guys had fun in this sketchbook journey with me, and I would love to see and hear about what you guys are doing in your sketchbooks. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check out my sketchbook tour. I'll leave a link in the description below and the card here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.